Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to list and describe the development sequence of acquisition of rudimentary stability, locomotion, and manipulative abilities. For starters, it's very important to understand that although the sequences of infant motor development are predictable, that rate can uh, vary. So, for example, for the first one, stability sequence, we see that the control and uh, control of head and the neck happens from birth to five months. Control of the trunk happens from two months to eight. Sitting happens from three months to eight. And standing happens from 11 to 12. These are the what we predicted to happen, but they can vary. And it's also important to note that these aren't happening in like a linear fashion, but rather there's a lot of overlap happening here between the stability um, motor development outside of standing because that happens um, later on. An example of this is going to be for when the child, when he's first born, he will only turn his head to one side. And then later on, approximately a week, he can do uh, both. And then he can hold his neck by himself or her for uh, the one month mark. After that, we have control of the trunk, which happens from two months to eight months. And here we really just want to make sure that they're controlling that trunk. So can they lift their head and chest at around two months? Are they attempting to do a supine to prone position around three? And are they successfully doing that at around six months? Then we have sitting three months to eight months. And really you have sitting with support at three months, sitting with self-support. So, you know, putting their hands down in front of them um, at six months, sitting alone without it at eight and then them trying to do that stand up when they're grabbing, you know, like say the side of the couch. We want to start seeing that at around six months. Uh, for sitting, you're going to see them go into that tripod and then eventually the hands free. Um, and then that will bring us to our standing sequence of rudimentary stability. And that happens way later on from 10 months to 12 months. And here you're going to see them start with supporting with the handholds and then eventually moving to um, them pulling themselves up to be supported and then standing alone, hopefully at that one year mark. This brings us into the uh, locomotion or creeping and crawling. The important thing to know here is that essentially the child is just using their arms and their legs uh, to propel themselves forward and we want to see this um, happening around that uh, seven to eight month mark. Uh, that brings us into walking. And the biggest problem here is going to be that keeping balance. And it's important to note that you're going to kind of see those Flintstone flat feet toys pointing out when the child's first starting to walk with a real staggered stance. And then when they grow uh, when they develop those skills better, you'll start to see it kind of look a little bit more natural and a natural heel to toe gait process come into play. Lastly, we have rudimentary manipulation. And here you're kind of just going to see three phases. You're going to have that globular ineffective reach, which is them throwing a big old fist out there. That's happening at one to three months, then a definite corralling reach at four, and then a controlled reach where they're actually aiming to grab something at about six months. Uh, and then with that, you're going to have the voluntary grasp at three months, the pincer grasp at nine months. And then the biggest thing we see is eating without assistance because they get the knowledge to actually let go of something voluntarily at 18 months. Um, all right. Thanks for listening, guys.